What's up guys, my name is Kareem Jovian and today I wanted to share something interesting with you. These awesome bags here. Now, I am huge with Dungeons & Dragons. I love it. It's really, really fun. If you guys don't know what it is, it's simply a board game that's very imaginative. You get to create your own scenarios, your own characters, be anyone, do anything. I'm a dungeon master and a dungeon master is someone who narrates the story to the players and uh, creates scenarios and comes up with a lot of stuff in the game, basically. So traveling was a pain in the butt because in order to travel as a dungeon master, you have to carry a lot of books, a lot of miniatures, rules, a whole bunch of maps and tiles, dice, and everything you possibly can think of for a board game. And that can get pretty heavy. And also it can get, you know, you can lose a lot of space and it's, you're not gonna be able to carry everything you need. So I found these really awesome bags they actually sent it to me for free by TrueNap. And the cool thing is they have two versions. They have the sling bag over here. And they have the backpack, which is my favorite. And I know how hard it is to find a uh, Dungeons and Dragons bag, or, or any bag for that matter. It's there's, there's not a lot of board game bags out there. So these two were my favorite and I'm really excited to share with you. If you guys are really interested in getting one, you can get one in the link below in the description box. So let me show you some of the features that these have. You're gonna open up the top compartment of the backpack. And as you can see here, I still have some of my stuff in here. The top part has this really nice big compartment. For instance, here I have my Dungeons and Dragons tiles, along with my map building book, my world building book, and this beautiful big dice tower. It has a bunch of metal dice in here, so it's really heavy, but it looks very nice. And as you can see, this is something that you want to also put in a bag that will protect it because this is pretty expensive. So that's only a little bit of what I had in there. I'll show you how much it can take. And you also got a flap here for an iPad or a laptop that you could put in with a strap to protect it. So that in itself right there makes the bag incredible. Little compartment here for whatever it is you want to put. Mainly for me, I like putting life counters, glass bead counters, dice obviously. Anything you really can think of that can fit in here, you can put in here for sure. And one of my favorite compartments is this one right here. And it flaps out like this. And I think you could probably tell already what this is for. You got markers to draw up your dungeons and uh, take notes with your uh, lead pencils here and an extra compartment for lead pencils and erasers. And they have this little flap here with a little netted bag that you could put extra things like this eraser here. So this is only a little bit of what you can put in. You could definitely put in a lot more. It has straps that you can put on your back and there's like a nice secret compartment right here on the side of the bag where you could put your phone or any little notes that you want to just hide from uh, your fellow players. I think this is probably the best part of the bag. The top compartment, when you open it up, you have this. Now, if you're a Dungeons & Dragons player, you know exactly what this is. For those who don't know, and you're interested to maybe try Dungeons & Dragons, be sure to get these bags to help you out with that. If you have not guessed it by now, these compartments are for your miniatures. Here are some miniatures that I've painted myself, and they're very tiny, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit to show you. So these are miniatures that I have painted myself. They are a pretty big part of Dungeons and Dragons. If you're following me on Instagram or Twitter, you can see me post when I'm painting these or when I'm actually sharing what I've done. And as you can see here, it keeps them protected. So you got big minis like this. Minis are short for miniatures. You put them in and you can close your backpack. So when you're going to travel or, you know, going to a friend's house, you can easily bring all your miniatures. This is just an example. You can fill it up with a lot more. You can put them completely standing up straight or you could even put them directly, depending on the size, just straight down, flat. So this way you can keep the protection optimal so you don't have any of your swords or weapons bend. So you can have them just stand as if they were standing on a tabletop. Another great thing that TrueNap gives with their bags is this sleeve right here. And this sleeve obviously protects your map. So I've rolled up my map and I put it in here. So if there's any rain or whatnot outside, you don't have to worry about your map getting destroyed because it's in this waterproof sleeve that keeps it rolled up nice and compact. 
And another thing is, a lot of the bags that I've seen that do take Dungeons & Dragons books are pretty small and don't hold a lot. And one of the major things that I don't like is that they sometimes have the map on the bottom and they don't give you a sleeve. So you are pretty much setting up yourself for disaster because every time you put this bag on the floor, it's going to damage the map. So for this backpack, one of my favorite features is that and we also have this sling bag, which is very similar, does the same thing, but has a lot more compartments for you and your Dungeons & Dragons games. On the side here, this is an example, you have an extra flap with a pocket and a nice see-through compartment pocket here for you to put dice or whatever, counters, anything. Same thing on this side over here. You also get a handle strap, you also get the same miniature compartment on the top, which is one of my favorite features of these bags. Lots and lots of room. You obviously get the same front pocket for your markers, lead pencils, counters, dice, and whatnot. And finally, a nice big compartment with dividers, which is a nice feature that the sling bag has, that it has these dividers, and another pocket for whatever iPad or uh, electronics you want to put in there for your board game. So now I'm going to put in my books just to show you how much you can take and how it looks. All their bags come with sleeves for your maps, and this is how it arrives. And finally, for, for the sling bag, they also have a really unique way of placing your map, which, has, which I think is really important. Like I told you, I don't like having it on the bottom. They thought of a very unique idea to simply just have it in the top. You just slide it through right here, these two straps. And once you slide it through, you just tighten them up just like this. And now you have your map placed on the top or in the center, if you want to call that. Protected from the ground and also easy to travel with. As you all know, I like the backpack. So I'm going to show you how I fill up my backpack when I'm going to a friend's house or going to play a game of Dungeons and Dragons somewhere outside, not here, at my home. So when I'm traveling to a friend's house, obviously I'm going to be bringing here this core rule book, which is really heavy. It has the three main books in order to start a game and play it with all the rules and guides from the Dungeon Master Guide, Monster Manual, and Player's Handbook. This also comes with a really nice dungeon screen over here, which is really important to hide from the players what you're planning up uh, or what you're gonna bring out next and your notes and all that stuff. So they don't see your roles and they don't see what you're doing behind the screen. So obviously these are very important to bring. So in order to bring them all, you gotta bring the whole thing. Put all that in there. And of course, you have your dungeon tower that comes with all these beautiful dice, heavy metal dice. This is what a dice tower is, obviously. You just put it together to randomize your rolls. This is very important for a DM and for players too. You want to bring it with you and make sure it's completely safe. Mind you, you notice how heavy and how big these things are. Of course, in this pocket here, life counter, dice, counters, world building book, my maps, map books, and of course my dungeon tiles. These are sometimes really hard to bring but as you can see it fits really nicely. And there you have it. You have everything you need inside this. And there's still room to put even more as you can see my hand is going in deep there and I didn't really organize it that well and I'm pretty sure you can and even fit in more things and this is the true nab backpack that you have here that is great for dungeon masters or dungeons and dragons players that would like to travel with everything in just one bag you got the sling bag and the backpack. So if you guys really enjoy this video and are interested in getting these bags, be sure to check the link below in the description box so you can get one for yourself. I think these bags are incredible and they're very, very needed because there aren't a lot of backpacks out there for Dungeons and Dragons. There are sling bags, but I think this sling bag was well designed and designed in such a way which I think is really beneficial for players. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until next time, I will see you soon. See you the later. And obviously, I forgot the main thing. Don't forget your minis. That's the best part about this. Really fun.